This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rettinger. It's the show where I hoard all the rumors. All your rumors are belong to me, and I serve them up to you so you know what you missed in the world of technology, what might be coming in the coming weeks, months, and even years. Up this week, it's all about the Me Too's. HTC's looking to build a smartwatch, LG's looking to get into the curved smartphone market, and the Galaxy S5 might get a pretty beastly 60 megapixel camera. This room around up, let's get started. So if you used the Galaxy Gear and you thought, I'd like you Galaxy Gear, but I would like you much more if you were built out of aluminum, well, it looks like the folks at HTC might have your answer. According to Bloomberg, they are looking to get into the smartwatch world and it'll not surprisingly run Android and have a camera. That was the leak. It'll run Android and have a camera. I could have told you that. Uh, but beyond its camera, the alleged smartwatch is still in development. In an interview earlier this week, CEO Peter Chow, who's been pretty outspoken, said he wouldn't release a smartwatch unless it could meet a need. But with Samsung going pretty much balls to the wall and wearables, HTC is obviously feeling some pressure to follow quickly or risk losing on a potentially profitable brand new market. So not to be outdone by the Galaxy Round, LG is getting into the curved phone game. So the leak comes courtesy of Argentinian journalist Federico Edi, who somehow got his hot little hands on the rumored phone. So like Samsung's handset, the Galaxy Round, Eni is reporting that the G Flex, as it's going to be called, will launch exclusively in South Korea. Boo. He sent a ton of pictures to The Verge, which reveal that the device buttons are also on the back, uh, similar to the G2, so kind of boo to that. The curved smartphone also supposedly features a 13 megapixel camera, 6 inch OLED display curved on its vertical axis. So I get it that it's cool to have a curved phone, but I have yet to really understand what the point of a curved phone is. Maybe it fits in your pocket better. Perhaps there's some crazy new thing I haven't thought of. I know Samsung's Galaxy around, you can sort of tap it and make it wiggle and menus pop up. Uh, just at this point, it seems more like a, hey, we can do it, than more we should do it. I don't know what the advantage of a curved display is, uh, other than being like, boom, there should be jelly in my phone. Or, oh, your phone is flat? Sucks for you, I don't care if you got a Snapdragon 800. Mine's got a curve in it. The Samsung Galaxy S5 looks like it's getting a 16 megapixel camera. So Samsung's already got some pretty baller phones out there and they have pretty awesome specs. Galaxy Note 3 and the Galaxy S4 boasting pretty substantial and decent 13 megapixel cameras. But the company may keep improving if it wants to remain competitive into 2014. So a new report from ET News, which is a pretty decent track record when it comes to Samsung rumors, claims that the next generation, probably named Galaxy S5, will rock a 16 megapixel camera, which if you can do math, is double what we already got. Things will allegedly take shape around the end of the year because the camera module sample tests have not yet been completed. However, a Samsung Insider from the company's wireless business division reportedly told ET News that the Galaxy S5 could launch in early 2014, so January-ish? We're gonna take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Gamefly. You know them, you love them, you should definitely be subscribing to them. They are the largest online video game rental service and they offer you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles from every console and handheld. With plans starting at just $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are zero late fees, zero due dates, and shipping is totally free. And once you're done playing a game, you just send it back. And Gamefly will send you the next one on your list. And if you really like a game, like you really, really like carjacking and Grand Theft Auto V, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours, discounted price, and they'll even mail you the case and manuals totally free of charge. As a Techno Buffalo fan, we want to give you a 15-day free trial. Go to Gamefly.com slash Techno Buffalo to get your free trial. Again, that's Gamefly.com slash Techno Buffalo. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. There's been a lot of Me Too's and competitive products coming to the market probably in the very near future. Any you're excited about, not excited about, leave them in the comments right down below. Please give the video a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.
What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions, and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you want to see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.